duplex catches fire during renovations, Sheboygan police officer injured crash, bond set in quadruple fatal hit and run. Those stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Welcome to Community News Review for Monday, November 5th, 2018. Firefighters were called to put out a fire at a duplex at 13th and Pennsylvania in Sheboygan late Sunday night. The 911 call came in around 11 p.m. when crews arrived. They learned that there was no one inside the home. The downstairs unit was being renovated at the time and there was no one home in the upstairs apartment. There was significant damage to the home and police say it is not suspicious. Area departments responded to a number of car fires at K Kaiser Salvage Yard on County Road A in the town of Sherman Saturday afternoon. The Sheriff's Department says that around noon, someone was using a torch to cut on a vehicle. That vehicle caught fire and then the fire spread to nearly a dozen other vehicles. Luckily, no one was injured. A police officer was injured Saturday evening in an accident involving a drunk driver. Sheboygan police say that around 8.20, a squad car with two officers in it was hit from behind by another vehicle at the intersection of North 14th and Michigan Avenue. One officer was taken to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries, and the driver of the other vehicle was arrested for drunk driving. Officers believe alcohol was a factor in a head-on crash in the town of Linden Wednesday night. The Sheriff's Department received a 911 call shortly before 7 o'clock and found that a 2012 VW Jetta had crossed the center line and hit a Ford pickup truck in the area of County E and Winooski Road. Both drivers were taken to the hospital and the driver of the Jetta, James Hotch, got a ticket for operating while intoxicated and driving left of center. The man accused of killing three Girl Scouts and a parent in Saturday's hit and run is now being held on a 2,500,000 bond. 21-year-old Colton True made an initial court appearance on Monday morning. Chippewa County DA Wade Newall claimed that Trey was impaired at the time of the incident, alleg alleging that he was huffing from an air duster. A passenger in the vehicle claimed that Trey had trouble controlling the vehicle, and they were allegedly fighting over the steering wheel when Trey lost control. On Saturday afternoon, Trey's pickup truck crossed the center line, went into a ditch, and hit a group of Girl Scouts who were working on a highway beautification project. Nine-year-old Jaina Kelly, 10-year-old Autumn Helgeson, 10-year-old Haley Hicks, and her 32-year-old mother, Sarah Jo Schneider, were all killed on Saturday, and a fourth Girl Scout remains in critical condition. A criminal complaint says that Trey drove the truck to his home and hid it in his garage. He went to a party that night, and the night before, he turned himself in. He is being charged with four counts of vehicular homicide. And Trey was also involved in an accident earlier this year in Rusk County. A police report from that crash says meth and drug paraphernalia were found in his car. With just hours left until Election Day, candidates have been hitting the pavement to sway voters. That includes the candidates for Governor Tony Evers and Governor Scott Walker. Both candidates for Governor made stops around the state over the weekend. Tony Evers was in Green Bay and Appleton on Saturday, 
and Mandela Barnes and I are going all across the state along with Democrats that we're hooking up with at different places. And we're t talking about positively about the future of Wisconsin. We have to. And when we do and we get people out to vote, we're going to win. It's that simple. Walker made stops in Hudson and Kenosha, getting some help from Vice President Mike Pence at the Hudson stop. The Vice President supported Governor Walker and Republican candidate for the Senate, Leah Vukmore. The people of Wisconsin, they're going, they're going with this governor's leadership and with Leah Vukmore in the Senate. We're going to continue to lower the cost of health insurance without growing the size of government, and Scott Walker and Leah Vukmore will always protect Americans with pre-existing conditions. He encouraged voters to bring their excitement to the polls, and the polls open at 7 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning. And that is our report for Monday. If you haven't yet cast your ballot, please remember to go to the poll. Tomorrow is election day. We will have election results in our Wednesday coverage. For everyone at Community News Review, I'm Maddie Fister, wishing you a good day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.